Good morning. Welcome to day four of Yoga with Anjali. We're doing a seven day challenge and we're in phase one of the first seven day challenge. And uh, we've got quite a few different poses going on here. So are you ready to get started? This is, we're working on the lower and mid back and um, strengthening our arms and uh, legs a little bit. But mostly the focus is on our back right now to relieve some of that tension that can accumulate through the course of the day. So are you ready to get started? Let's start greeting the day with some standing sun salutations. And we have the girls in here helping again. <laughs> All right, okay, so let's get started. We're going to put our legs hip width apart. Let's breathe our arms up to the sky. Reach. And then exhale it back down to the earth. that earth energy back up. Breathe it in and send it up to the heavens. Exhale it back down to Mother Earth. Touch your fingers to the ground for about three seconds and then we'll bring it back up one vertebrae at a time. Last one. Breathing in and on the descent down to earth, exhale. Ah, nice. Let's cross our arms, fold our arms. We're going to hold the forward bend pose for 30 seconds. Relax your neck. Make sure your knees are soft, not locked back, but soft. stretch here. You might not feel it as much on one side as the other. I'm definitely feeling it more here on this side. Let's 
bring that back up. When we were stretching on the other side, I felt more over here. All right. I'm going to breathe it in. We're going to come down into forward bend. And let's bring those feet out a little wider so we can get a good stretch. Okay, you can keep your hands on the floor if you like just for balance and support, but you want to relax your neck, or you can grab the back of your ankles and let gravity pull you down and give you a really deeper stretch. Shimmy shake. Shake that out. All right, let's get down on the floor. Now we're going to do our half lord of the poses. Now, for those of you who are not flexible enough for this pose, simply sit like this, your legs crossed, hands on knees. Take your right hand to your left knee, your left hand behind your back, and you'll look behind you as far as you can. And you'll just give yourself a little turn there and stretch. Only stretch until you feel a nice, good tug. Never until it hurts. If something hurts, you stop doing it and you wait for the next position. Or you can uh, leave me a comment and let me know that it's hurting and I will make a um, alternative for that for you to do. All right, so half Lord of the Fishes. Leg underneath you, knee pointing straight out in front of you. Left leg crossing over the right. Left hand behind the back. Right knee to the left, or the right shoulder. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Right elbow to the left knee. Hold your hand straight up, and we're going to turn to the left. We'll hold for 30 seconds. And make sure you keep breathing. Nice, relaxed, even breaths. Sophie came to join us. She's, she's doing a semi-corpse pose. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> okay. We'll work around her. Let's switch to the other side. 30 seconds. out and give them a little shake to loosen up those muscles. Maybe do a couple of circulars on your head and neck just to release that. Okay. All right, my favorite pose.
Well, I might be able to do this with her here. <laughs> Let's get tabletop. Hands out in front of you just a little bit. Spread those hands flat and keep your fingers wide when you've got your hands down on the mat. Curl your toes under. We're going to come up and lean into downward dog. For those of you who cannot do this, you could bring your knees down and just go into child pose like so with your knees in front of you if that's you don't have to go all the way down but it still gives kind of a similar stretch another way to do downward dog is to come down on your elbows whoa that gives you a deeper stretch but if you're not strong enough in your arms yet you can do that today I want to rock back and forth so I'm going to move up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing I'm going to bring one knee down and I'm going to push back with the right for about eight seconds and then we're going to bring the other knee up and push down with the other leg so that we can get those heels closer to the ground if you're feet aren't flat on the ground when you're doing a downward dog, that means you still got some stretching to do, some loosening up. So the goal is to loosen up these muscles back here so that we can get our feet mobile again. And we're just going to alternate that. And we'll do that one more time and you see with each time we do that my feet my heels get closer to the ground right only stretch until it feels good and not painful and we'll switch to the other foot and now we'll do both feet again come down to cobra pose or upward facing dog. Let's put our feet back up. We're going to come down. Put our feet up fat, flat. And for those of you who can't do that, you can basically come down to the ground, plant your elbows, and come up like so. Good job everyone. 
If you noticed, I was having a little trouble myself with the upward facing dog today or the cobra pose. Uh, you'll have that some days. Your back muscles might get a little more tense than other days. Today's one of those for me because I actually started on posture exercises last night. So, um, yeah, it's, it's working. I will be sharing those with you later after we get through phase one of our seven day challenge. Anyway, you have a wonderful day. You are loved. You are peace. You are bliss. You are wise. You are safe. You are everything good. And Sophie is <laughs> making her presence known. Namaste.